Jonathan Lee Riches. In 2000, um, back in 2007, I sued Michael Vick in federal court. Got a lot of publicity with it. People don't understand that I also sued Michael Vick in state court. And around the same time, here is a copy of the suit, handwritten, Jonathan Lee Riches versus Michael Vick in the state of Maryland, Circuit County Court of Kent County. I'm going to read this lawsuit that I filed against Michael Vick so you can understand what he did to me and what he's doing to others. And Mr. Vick, if you're listening, you must be held accountable for your actions. Jonathan Lee Riches, copyrighted versus Michael Vick. Civil complaint. It's titled, I've been victimized. See? I've been victimized. Plaintiff Jonathan Lee Riches, a priest, brings this civil suit against Michael Vick pursuant to violations of civil rights, harassment, illegal dogfighting, drug trafficking, prostitution, and sports betting. Plaintiff seeks $25 million in damages. In compensatory, oh, compensatory, God, I couldn't even say the word right. I, I wrote the suit and I can't even say the word right. And punitive damages. Plaintiff prays for relief. Comes now the plaintiff, Jonathan Lee Riches, a.k.a. the Google.com phenomenon, who states the following. Plaintiff Jonathan Lee Riches, a devoted priest, has a church in this county. Plaintiff gets frequent visitors who come to him for their confessions. Defendant Michael Vick is a quarterback for the Atlanta Falcons. Mr. Vick travels to this county to conduct business during the month of June. The purpose of this business is to engage in illegal dogfighting, sports betting, prostitution, identity theft, and drug trafficking. On the morning of June 2, 2007, Michael Vick made his first visit to me to make a confession. Michael Vick told me he wanted to confess to his sins. Mr. Vick told me the following on that day. Vick has been operating a dog, a drug running cartel in this county since 2002. Vick uses his Atlanta Falcon salary and endorsement contact, contracts to finance this drug operation. Michael Vick, along with current and former Atlanta Falcon teammates Deion Sanders, Tim Dwight, Joe Horn, and Jerry Glanville, would distribute cocaine throughout the county, set up crack houses, and sell ecstasy at teenage parties. Mr. Vick also confessed to me this day that he has been shooting steroids and taking performance enhancement drugs since his rookie year. This was done under the direct orders by Atlanta Falcons owner Arthur Blank to boost ticket sales. The NFL commissioner also knew about Vick's steroid use, but Vick was paying him bribes for silence. Mr. Vick vowed to me the truth in his statement. I prayed with him and encouraged him to come back to see me. On the afternoon of June 5, 2007, Michael Vick returned to me for a second confession. Mr. Vick told me the following that day. Vick has been sports betting gambling. Vick has a sports betting gambling addiction. While Vick played quarterback for the Falcons, Vick would bet against his own team. Vic purposely tanked the Falcons' playoff game against the Philadelphia Eagles. Mr. Vic was in debt to the Gambinos. Mr. Vic also bet on NBA games with referee Tim Donahue, Steve Javi, and Joey Crawford. Mr. Vic told me that these NBA sports bets occurred during the 2006-2007 NBA season. Vic hired bookies to work under his orders. Vic's bookies took bets in the county bars, pool halls, shopping malls, and high schools. Anyone who became in debt to Vic's betting operation, Mr. Vic would send goons out to break their legs and kneecaps. Mr. Vic never returned to me to see me again after that confession. On June 11, 2007, Mr. Vic called me on my telephone and told me he's no longer a Christian and he now joined Al-Qaeda. Mr. Vic also threatened me personally with physical injury. Mr. Vic began shouting racist comments to me on the phone. Mr. Rick Vic called me honky, white cracker, uh, father white boy. Mr. Vic used profanity like the F word, 
I was personally insulted by this phone call. I'm still a nervous wreck to this day. On the morning of June 12, 2007, I woke and a black Labrador puppy named Holy was missing. I searched the entire house. When I opened the front door, a note was left on the doorstep signed by Michael Vick. The first few lines stated the following. Hey, cracker holy man, I stole your little dog. I'm using him across town to, in a dog fight. I hope it gets slaughtered. You will never see it again. Take this as a warning. If you ever tell anyone about my confessions about my joining Al-Qaeda jihadists, I will take your head off like what I'm going to do to your little dog. From June 12, 2007 until this day, I have never seen my dog again. Mr. Vick continues to call me and harass my life. I have suffered trauma because of Michael Vick. And here is the conclusion to the suit. My Labrador is exotic, a rare breed from Iceland. The Labrador was personally given to me by Pope De Benedict at a Grateful Dead concert. Plaintiff seeks $25 million in damages from the defendant. Plaintiff moves this honorable court to issue an order for defendant in the suit to respond. Respectfully submitted, Jonathan Lee Riches. And I filed this suit against Michael Vick. Judge threw it out as frivolous. Today is, uh, is the month of December 2012, five years later, and I am going to appeal this ruling. So I will keep you informed. Have a great day.